I think as football, it's the uh, cultures come together. That's just what we do. It's good to kind of learn a new culture. Uh, being a new Canadian as well for me, uh, I felt like I learned a lot, and I thought it was it was a really nice afternoon. And uh, hopefully, we can enhance our relationship. Players got to learn about our culture. Uh, they learned how uh, to properly smudge, and and then the second part was uh, learning about the equine culture of, uh, of our nation. Uh, what the horses mean to our culture and what the horses mean to the people of uh, the Treaty 7 territories. We always say play for the horse. Um, you know, we're about the horse and then you come out here um, in, in Brent's Ranch here and you know, really is about spiritual with the horse, about relating to the power and also uh, to me, as you, if you get an extra horse, it just seems to me like the world is right. Uh, the momentum, the power, the speed, and yet quite docile. And I got to see uh, some staff members that never uh, held a horse or been around a horse uh, overcome fears and obstacles. It tells me that we're going down the right path and that we have a, still a lot of work to do left. Building relationships and teaching each other about each, each other's cultures, it's uh, paving a way forward so everybody that's coming behind us is working together. Surrounded by many uh, lands, treaty lands, and, and people of all different races. So in Canada, I find, I find it's a huge melting pot. Treat people with respect, positivity. That's what I took from today. The sun's coming up. Um, feel that heat, but it also uh, shows you that it's a brand new day. And try to always move forward. I think it's very important to spend time on the land. That's very important. The second part is to the culture. To really learn about our culture and the third part is to learn about everything that equine animal, the horse, siskla, can teach you and I think when you combine the land, the culture and the horses that it's just a wonderful day.